welcome, I'm Tim and this is Tim B at Sea and we are headed down to Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Um, a little, I don't want to say a, a difficult dock, but a dock we definitely have to pay attention to. i kind of show you here on the chart plotter. We have to come in here and go in here and this is a ship here and the, all kinds of stuff, scows and everything. We got to get in here and over, oops, over right inside there. And right now there's a light tug that's tied up where I need to go, but we got in touch with him. He's moving right now. So let me set up the camera and bring you along for the ride. Jason, sorry to, sorry to mess you up. <laughs> All right, we've got our speed down to about four knots. And we've timed it so the tide should be just about slack right now. I had a fair tide coming down here. And man, I had all I could do to keep from doing nine knots. <laughs> I didn't want to get down here really quickly because uh, I wanted to uh, wait, wait the tide out so I wouldn't have to deal with the tide. So this should be good. Hey, on the Normandy, I'm just 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 checking. That I haven't been here for a while. I can go on either side of those those silly buoys, right? Yeah, you got plenty of water there. Um 
uh, if you could see, or you can't see them. Yeah, yeah, you, you can go in either side. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, good deal. We'll shoot like, as long as you're there like that, we'll shoot right in and then uh, flatten out and have you push us right over. So it should be relatively easy. Most often that's what they do. They come in real close to all that weak shit and then, uh, you know, just, just keep uh, keep the stern close. But you don't have, uh, oh no, you do have that still, don't you? Uh, just, just a bit. It's uh, dying out every minute, so we'll be fine. Yeah, the, the reason I questioned the buoys was uh, the last time I was on, uh, one of them was not there, and uh, we had kind of thought maybe it was there, but just underwater. But uh, they're both there, so you're good. Roger. So, my entire career. Yeah, most often, the approach in and out of here is, is uh, just the way you're going, right in close to that weak stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's how I used to do it. I just want to make sure nothing had changed. <laughs> All I know, we had a sunk weak barge right in the middle of us. Not that I know of, you know. I <laughs> probably haven't been in here, you know, a month, uh, month or so, a month and a half. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, so if you look right now at the ship and put your eyes over to the left a little bit, you see a green buoy over there, and then there's a white buoy. There's actually two white buoys there that say obstruction. And I've always thought that the obstruction had more to do with ships because I gotta tell you, um, the the, weeks bar the the barges that we're talking about are these uh, sand barges over here on the right hand side. And uh, they've moved those buoys all around or they did a few years ago. And there are times that I was right on top of whatever those things were marking and I never hit anything, knock on wood. <laughs> anyway, I, I think they're more for ships, you know, for really deep draft vessels. So, um, so I, I've come in this way before. You can come in this way, or come in from down below and shoot up, kind of like the uh, assist tug did when he went out. But uh, I just checked with uh, my assist because my assist is uh, has a little bit more local knowledge than I do. Like I say, it's been a little while since I've been in here. I want to make sure nothing changed. So we're still doing about four knots, and that's good because we still have a little bit of ebb tide. So I don't want to get lateral movement. I don't want to start sliding down the river, and that's going to happen regardless of whether I want it to or not. But I'm trying to minimize that, and by minimizing that, I drive ahead to get water going by the barge and the tug, as opposed to just being static in the water and letting the current, the fair tide, push me down the river. The kills, I should say. So there's, they have what this, we call this a spud barge. It's on the right hand side with all the tires on it because the spuds are the big metal legs that stick down in the mud and hold it there and they call those spuds. So my plan is to get over by the spud barge and start coming really hard right. There's gonna be a spill response boat that's always tied up there until there's a spill. But I wanna get in there and out of the tide and use my assist tug to push me so that, like I say, to try to minimize that uh, lateral movement. Now right now we're aiming at a good spot, but if you were able to see my chart plotter, you'd see that my, mom my, my momentum is still going down the river. My movement is going down the river, which is not what I want. So I'm actually gonna increase speed, which I don't, I don't really wanna come flying in here, but I, I, I can't risk, like right now, if I kept doing this, I would end up alongside the ship even though the ship's way down there and that's because the ebb tide is pulling me down there. So I'm coming right all the time and then I'll come left. So I'm going to keep increasing speed a little bit to try to get into the hole and as I get in there the tide, the effect of the tide should be mitigated and then eventually go to zero. So now I'm now my uh, my predictor line has me just pointing towards the stern of the ship. So I'm I'm getting better, but I'm still not in the hole yet. I got to get by. There's a case on up there that I got to get. Not only me, but I got to get my assist tug on too. And some of you might say, well, why am I not using my assist tug right now? I can, but I I, I think I can do it without him. And I'm not trying to be a tough guy and do it without the assist tug. What I'm trying to do is 
when I use the assist tug, I want to use him. I don't want to, um, sometimes you start using him and then when you need him, he's not there to use, you know, because you're, you've already used up all the momentum he can give you. Okay, now I need to slow down because I'm doing 5.1 and that's way too fast coming in here. So, okay, so now, all right, on the norm D, why don't you give me clutch ahead on one? Okay, thanks. I know you're not going to be able to get out of 90 or anything like that because I'm going too fast. I was just trying to get out of this, uh, yeah. Okay, now my, my line is straight ahead, which is just exactly what we want. I'm all stop. I'm setting my rudder hard left. He's pushing on me so I can start rotating the bow around and without losing ground. Or at least that's what I'm hoping to do, meaning that I'm using the assist tug as a pivot point. So the barge will roll around my assist tug. Okay, there we go. We're looking good. Go all stop again. I'm down to 3.4 knots. My predictor line is still straight ahead, moving moving more towards 1 or 2 o'clock, which is exactly what we want. We're going to move to the dock. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, I'm going to give us another turn here to try to twist my stern over and the bow out a little bit. I've got the assist tug to be able to push me around and use them as a pivot point right now. Um, sometimes you'll see we take the assist tug. Very good. Sometimes you'll see we'll use the assist tug all the way up in the bow. But in this particular case, I knew that I was going to need to have him push the whole, the, the, the barge and the tug. So I put him right in the midship of the, of the barge. So that way he, he would be able to push more of us. If I just had him in the bow, he'd push the bow over and I'd have to wrestle the stern over. All right, Matt. What do you got on the starboard, starboard corner, to the to the dock? How much we got? Ah, that's a good three hundred feet. Good God, man! Yeah, it's pretty long there. Something no one's ever said to you, right? That's right. <laughs> okay, so now I need to come ahead. Everything. Looks like we got about two hundred. I'll stop on the Normandy. I'll stop. So now I'm way off, but I don't need. I'm still moving at a good clip here, so I don't. I, I, uh, I don't. I can use him. We're kind of out of the tide, but I don't want to get a lot of lateral movement, so I'm just going to all stop and let it settle in. The rudder's hard over to port. Two hundred wide. I don't really believe him, but that's what he says. All right, make sure I don't run into anything up forward. We got a ways to go, but just keep an eye on that when you're calling distances. Yeah, four bounds coming abreast of the manifold area now. All right. All right, Normandy, you can uh, give me clutch ahead on one. If you can get out to a 90, that's great. If you can't, you do what you can do. You want that one. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, 175 wide. He's saying it's 175 wide. 150 foot of clearance ahead. Very good. 150 foot of clearance ahead. So I'm just going to let everything settle in. Right now we're just about flat, so I'm going to put my rudder the other way, just in case I need to help the bow over there. But I got my rudder midship. I'm all stop. We're through and clear. Thank you. Have a good day. And so this way we can. Uh, I can go to either side. Very good. Very good. And so the, I'm just using my assist tug right now, so I don't have to walk anything over. How are we doing on the spot? Anybody have any idea? Seventy feet ahead to the spot. Very good. All right, and the spot is where, I mean, I could see the manifold, but there's a series, the manifold is a series of connections and different tank of, very good. And uh, so the spot is just telling me how much, uh, how, how far we got to go to get where the connection will be good for the tankerman. 
So the bow started to push over because it, it's uh, lighter than the stern. So I'm just doing a left twist right now. That's the port engine of stern. And the to put a engine ahead to the case line. All right. And uh, I have a temptation. I really want to ask the Normandy to give me two engines right now. He's only giving me one engine. Bow is 80 wide, 80 zero. All right. But. All right, Cap, you can. Go on, try to walk it in or get on the push it in, and we'll catch you a line right here. You got it, man. And so I really want, I don't want to use that second engine. Just because once we start building up way, we go flying over there, it's very hard to stop. He, he can back down and stop us, but uh, you know what? We're not moving like I thought we would, so. All right on the Normandy, I was fighting to try to have you not have to give me two engines, but I think I'm gonna need another one. Okay, I'll give you all three of them. Woo hoo! <laughs> all right, so the bow's coming over faster than the stern, so I'm doing that uh, left-hand twist. And what I do is I look straight over at the dock and I find something on the dock. About 60 wide closing. And uh, so I can see if I'm making headway or not. About 50 wide closing. All right. On the normal, you can just go back to one and just keep it, let her coast. Okay, all stop. trying to catch the stern up. Bow, 41. The bow's a little bit tighter than the stern, right? Absolutely. All right, I'll keep twisting. Okay, so the bow's closer than the stern and I really want to land flat over here. And we're moving over nice. Bow, 25 wide closing on the stern, you're about 35. All right. Hey, are we still on the spot? I might have gone ahead a little bit. You want me to back up a little bit? No, okay, we haven't reached the spot yet. I'm gonna get you to come this long side and we're gonna get this uh, spring line out. We have to come ahead about 10 feet. Oh, perfect. All right, clutch ahead on one. On one. Going back to my twist again. Looks like we've kind of stalled out. See, the problem is, is that when I bring the stern over, it stalls the bow out. So as I'm... That's about 15 wide. We need to bring our stern over a little bit more to uh, so the bow doesn't fall into these cases. All right. All right, I'll stop on the Normandy. I'll stop. You liking that better, Matt? Yes, sir. Looking a lot better. About 10 wide and stern is about 30. blowing us off the dock so uh I keep thinking we're gonna slide into the dock and we keep stalling out but going slow to the dock is a good thing all right clutch ahead on one on one Drive into that line. Nine. Now 
he says, I got nine feet to go, so I'm sliding eight in. Feet. Eight feet to go. Seven feet. Seven feet to go. He's counting me down by the foot. I like eight that. Feet. Five. Just coasting now. One. Alright, by the time we tie this off, we should be good. Alright, clutch head on too. We're easy now. Very good. Now I just have the assist tug work just a little bit harder. Yeah, we good on that. We just gotta leave it. Alright, good job guys. Alright, so that's that. Now I gotta check out with traffic to let traffic know I'm not an issue anymore. Traffic from the Cape Fear. series of uh, New York's videos. Uh, I think you guys like them a lot more than the ones down in paradise. But uh, I'm here for another week. So uh, I keep making more and more content for you guys. So hopefully you guys will have months of content with this. But special thanks to my patrons. If this is something that you want to support, uh, there'll be a link in the description or go to patreon.com slash Tim um, You can also hit the hard icon to thank you. Um, you know, obviously like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff. If the spirit leads you, if that's something you want to do, it's great for me, great for the channel, and it gets the gets us out to more people, which is uh, the end goal anyway. But thank you so much for always, and uh, don't forget, oh, look at this, it's starting to rain. Oh, poor guys on deck. I tell you, rank has its privileges, staying out of the weather. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't checked out SV Paquita, I'll put a link in the description for that as well. And uh, don't forget, if you're a Mariner, check out uh, MarinerCredentials.com. I'll put a link in that as well. That's my friend John over there. All right, you guys take care, be safe, and as always, see you on the one.